video is going to be about how I got into tech. I actually got introduced to the computer at a very young age. Growing up, we had a desktop and it was something that fascinated me, right? I would do some stuff on the desktop. There was paint, there was MS Word. So I would do like Marvis Beacon, I would do typing lessons. I mean, just have fun. And moving on to secondary school, that interest didn't die. I remember attending um, CS classes in school. I remember going for ICT competitions in school. After secondary school, going to the university, I mean, picking a course to study in university wasn't so hard. So I settled for computer science. I went to UNN. And moving to UNN, it got to like a period where we were meant to go for industrial training, like in 200 level. So I wanted to go somewhere that I would learn. Unfortunately for me, I figured out that I could actually pick a course to just learn how to program. That's where the concept of programming got to me. And so that was in Calabar. I went to Actech Training Institute to take like a Java course. But I was taking that course, I knew what I was doing, I knew I was programming, but things were still a bit hazy, right? So I went to Aptech, I did the Java course, which was good. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was still not conscious of what I was doing, but my own was that I've done my IT, I'm going to fill my logbook, and I'm going to move to the next level, right? So after the experience I had at Aptech, I started learning about web development, right? Web development in school, um html css was a thing so i went to code academy i remember having like my notepad i started learning about html tags css component i don't like what i was doing no i don't think so so moving over i'm done with my it training at aptech i'm done with 200 level moving over to um say 300 level right there's this incubation hub that we have in school and in that space i met people that actively were actively coding as students i also met people that have really gone far like in their coding career and everything so it was a really nice space to actually um to actually grow although the gender this thing wasn't so equal because i was seeing mostly guys i hardly saw a girl probably once or twice but was it discouraging not really so on a very interesting day i actually met someone and he's an android developer in code and remember previously that i talked about me learning web web wasn't for me i just knew web development wasn't for me so he said he's an android developer and i'm like hmm nice i think i'll like this so I saw like an emulator stuff on his screen. He was building Android applications. So I got interested and I asked him, he spoke about launching the app on Play Store and other stuff. And I was like, oh, so you can actually build something and like launch on Play Store and people can use on their phone. And that is where my interest was like, boom, I'm going to learn this thing. I'm going to start building Android applications. I was excited. Remember that I actually did a course at AppTech Java luckily for me the first prerequisite to learn android development was java and when i found out that i was like wow look at god <laughs> and i remember going back to my hostel that day with my laptop i was excited oh i made to do android um as much as that was the day that i made like the first decision of my life that was actually when the while i started <laughs> the challenges that i faced I remember certain times where I'll be crying and I'll call this person and be like, no, this thing is not for me again. And at the point I was like, I don't think I want to do this again. I mean, those doubts still coming in, but that was like the hard work that I needed to put in to, to be where I am today. And so there are a couple of things to learn from this journey, right? Although this video is going to be divided into two parts, the second part will be how my Android development journey went. And I'll be talking more about how I built my first app in four months and launched it on Play Store. So if you'd like to like to know how that went, turn on your post notifications. So a few things to take away from this video from the beginning phase would be that things would be knowing what you want, right? I would have gone with the whole wave of people are doing web dev, a lot of people around me are doing web dev. I hardly saw anybody that was building Android applications at that time. So I would have just gone with the wave like, oh, web dev is common, let me just follow the trend. Actually stood out and I knew what I wanted. And as much as people were telling me, see, some Android development is hard, try to do web, you, you get you, 
get into web faster than Android. I didn't really listen to them, right? I knew that I wanted to build Android applications and I just went for it. Secondly is community. Community helped me a lot. People started getting roles like GitHub Campus Experts, WTM at that time, and they would sort of like bring these events to that hub. So you're getting a more realistic view of what it means to be in the tech space. So community is one thing I didn't joke with. And I will always tell people, if you have a community that you can join, just join and just grow with people. But three is guidance. As much as it's, it's super hard to get a mentor, you do not really have to have like a direct mentor. I, was, I think I'll do a video of how to like ask people for mentorship or how to get mentorship in the tech space. What you just need is someone you can ask specific questions and get answers. I had that guidance, I had that mentorship, I had someone that I would run to if I'm facing bugs or errors. Guidance actually helped me. So you don't need a mentor in quotes. What you need is someone that, or some people, or even a community. Twitter is so good right now that if you post something, that you're worried about or if you post something that is giving you issues it might be a bug might be confusion if you just tweet about it and the public sees it best believe that somebody is going to answer you that's how awesome social media is so make good use of your social media space ask questions seek for guidance and do a lot of research as well and lastly something that helped me when i was just starting out in tech was taking breaks I knew that there's a time that I took like months break. I didn't do anything on Android. I didn't open my laptop. I was just being a normal, regular student. Did it help me? Yes, it did. So those are a couple of things that I learned. Coming to the tech space was something that changed my life. And I know the journey is just starting, but this is like exactly where it started for me. Probably on the next video, I'm going to be talking about, like I said, how I built my first Android application. All by myself a personal project and how i launched the application on play store so if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed till now till now fam we are almost at 1000 subscribers by god's grace so if you've not subscribed till now i don't know what you're waiting for anywho thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye